Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brandon and I am the Accidental Excellus. This is video tutorial number 19 in a series I've done on creating a simple customer database CRUD style app or tool in Microsoft Access. And we're actually about to wrap this up. We've got pretty much everything done. If you're just now discovering this, if this is the first video you've seen, you'd like to uh, know more about this project, uh, please be sure and check out the uh, link in the description below for the playlist and you can see all of the videos. There is an introduction video that actually kind of reviews the app from top to bottom and what it uh, actually does and how it functions and then uh, each video through the series and the playlist takes you from start to finish and uh, in this video the final detail that we're going to address here is splitting the database so if you've never split a database uh, be sure and uh, sit tight and I'll show you what that's all about so uh, the first thing I want to do we're on our main form here but I can open up the navigation pane and so basically if you've never split a database or you don't know what that means basically what we're going to do is split this file into two separate files and they're going to be basically a copy of each other but in one it's going to contain all of the form elements and the auto exec macro and then the other is just going to contain the table so we're going to basically we're splitting these access objects into two separate files and the reason we're doing that is if for instance you have like a network drive that you want to save the database itself to you can do that and then we can make multiple copies of the front end, what we're going to call the front end file. It just contains the forms and the auto exec macro. And then once we've split those, we just need to connect the front end to the back end. So let's, what we need to do now is make a, a couple of different copies of this same file. So first of all, before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and go to file and I'm going to save as and we are actually going to save this as an access database so I'm going to click on save as make sure it's going to make me close all the objects the forms so that's okay uh, and so I'm just going to save all this in the same folder uh, because I don't have a network drive here I just want to show you how this works so uh, I'm going to stay with customer database on this but I'm going to name this file customer database BE and I'm going to click save And so now what I want to do is I want to make another copy. It's going to be save as. And um, we're going to save it as just the same. And then this one's going to be FE for front end. So BE means back end. FE means front end. And so now with FE open, I'm going to delete the customer's tables from this, uh, from the, um, uh, navigation pane under all access objects. So I'm going to go down here, I'm going to right click, I'm going to delete and click on yes. And now all I have in my front end file are the forms and the auto exec macro. So I'm going to save that and now I'm going to close it. And so I'm going to open the back end file. And all right, so in this case, I need to go ahead and close this form real quick because I'm about to delete all of them. So I'm going to, I'm going to delete in the back end file, I'm going to delete everything except the customer's table. So I'm going to highlight all those by holding the shift key down and then uh, go here and click on delete and answer yes. And so now you can see all that's left in the navigation pane under the all access objects is the customer's table. And so now I want to go to save as back end, click save exist of course yes and now I'm going to close that all right so now with that settled I need to open the front end so when you're ready you could take this back end file and you could you know copy or um, cut whatever save it to your network drive and once you've settled on that you can open up your front end file and what we need to do because if we try to add new you're going to get this message here the record source customer specified in this form does not or report does not exist and it doesn't as far as access is concerned right now it doesn't exist because it's not connected so what we need to do is we need to go to the external data tab and I'm in Microsoft Access 2016 so this may look a little different for you if you're in 2013 or 2010 uh, but it's essentially uh, the external data I don't know I can't remember I think in 2013 or 2010 it's been a while uh, for me but I think there's an import group like an export group here 
So you just want to find the access option. In 2016, it's over here on new data sources or new data source. And I'm going to go down to from database and I'm going to click on access. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse and find my file. If it's a network drive, you may have to browse around and find that on your network um, path. And so I'm going to find the back end file and I'm going to open that. And instead of import tables and queries and forms, I'm going to link. So I'm going to select this down here to link to the data source. And I'm going to click OK. And it's going to show me my available tables. It only has, we only have a customer table. So I'm going to highlight that, click on that, and click OK. And now we have this um, tables under all access objects in our navigation pane. And notice the little blue arrow. That means it's a linked table. And when we hover over that, it actually shows us our file path. So if you put that on a network drive, this should show you your network uh, drive path. And it's all connected up now. So we can verify that by clicking on the main form. We can click on Add New, and it brings up that form because there is now a new table. All right, I'm not a new, new table, a new record available in a table that's actually connected. We can do the same with View All. And so now we can view all of those records in that table that's now connected. But it's not in the same file, so they're now separated. And then that way you can make, you know, if you had a couple of, um, you know, d people doing data entry on separate computers, you could actually have this um, front-end file saved or, you know, copied or to multiple, mach multiple machines, and then you just have to go in and make the connection. Now you can go ahead, if you can make the same connection or you can make the connection in your front end file and then copy the file and send it to another machine and everything should be uh, connected up for you. But if you absolutely had to on another machine, you just make that same connection to the uh, customer's table in the back end file. So one last thing I want to show you is that we uh, can, when we open the front end file, we can do a couple of things that are kind of security minded. Now, it's not 100% ironclad, but if you have if you have somebody working in the front end file that you just kind of want to protect things, we want to be able to eliminate things like the create tab, the external tab, database tools and stuff like that. We just want to narrow it down to the home tab where if uh, somebody doing data entry just needs to do some filtering and things like that, they can do that, but they don't have access to these create you know, external data and other, you know, just the creation and database tools tab so they don't do any, you know, anything that they, you know, you wouldn't want somebody going in and changing or creating, you know, new forms or reports, you know, things like that, new tables, things like that. So we want to be able to eliminate those. And the way we do that is we go in here to uh, file and we'll go down to options and we'll go to current database here. And then we'll just kind of scroll down until you get to navigation. And then you uncheck the display navigation pane. And then here under ribbon and toolbar options, you want to uncheck allow full menus and uncheck allow default shortcut menus. So I'm going to click OK. And when it does, when I do this, it's going to tell me that I have to close and reopen the current database for those to those um, actions to actually take effect. And so now I'm going to find that front end file again. I'm going to double click. And now when it opens, notice the navigation pane is not available. And again, we've eliminated everything but the home tab. And this is where you really want it to be. Uh, you know, once you're ready to deploy your application or yeah your you know your customer database file here front end file you want to try and protect everything as much as possible you've worked hard on this and you don't want anybody messing around and doing something inadvertently to you know the design of your forms so they don't have any access to that they can't go in and um, go to design view or anything like that this is all kind of protected so that looks good um, now just know and just be aware this isn't like I said this is not completely ironclad if, you, if somebody knows what they're doing in access all they've got to do is go to the file tab go to privacy options and then you bring up the access options window all over again and you can go to current database and then you can actually check and select or check and activate the display navigation pane uh, full menus and default shortcut menus so it's not 
a hundred percent, but I mean, for somebody that is not access savvy, they're not going to be just stumbling their way into that. So there is that. So the other thing you want to do, one final detail is you want to go in and you want to actually create a, an ACCDE file. And so I'm going to go, sorry, I should have gone to, um, actually, I'm going to have to open up the privacy options and go to um, allow full menus. So I'm going to click OK. Again, I've got to close this and reopen it for that to take effect. So let me open up the front end file one last time. Let's go to file and then let's go to save as. And we're going to go down here, make ACC, I'm sorry, make ACCDE. And so what an ACCDE file is just an executable only file. And this is used to protect your database file. And what it does is it protects like the VBA code in the file. It doesn't allow any changes to be written to any of the forms, anything like that. So this is really a best practice. So you just have to go here, select, select that, click Save As, and then just it'll it'll change the file type here. So you don't see any of the other files because it's not showing any of the ACCDB files. And so I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And then let's close this. And then let's see what we've got here. So now we've got a couple of files with the FE name. So over here, notice that, uh, let me bring this out. So you've got a Microsoft Access database type file, and then you've got the Microsoft Access ACCDE database, and that's the executable file. And you can notice that the uh, file size is actually a little bit smaller. So I click, double click that, and it will, here's another thing you need to be aware of. So what it's going to do is uh, bring up this uh, warning that says we've got a Microsoft Access security notice. And the uh, security concern is that it's a trusted source. So what you want to do is we want to, um, first of all, let's click open. And we need to go back to our uh, options here. And now let's go to Trust Center, and we're going to go to Trust Center Settings, and we're going to go to Trusted Locations, and we need to add that file location. So let me go in here, up here, back to this file location. Let me click uh, on that, and then copy it, and then go back to here and um, add new location, and then double click on that, clear that out. Uh, control V and click OK and then click OK there. OK one more time and now let's close this and then let's open that ACCD file, DE file again and now that warning doesn't come up. So you're just going to have to address that the first time that you open it after you change it over to an ACCDE file. I know that was a lot of information. This actually turned into a very long video but really that's it. You've now got a fully functioning you know, Microsoft Access CRUD style app that can be deployed and that's where you want it. Actually, you could go back one more thing and yeah, we need to, one last thing, go back to options. Once you've done that, go to current database and uh, scroll down till we unselect from, yeah, unselect allow full menus, click OK. And now let's close this file. Lot, I know a lot of closing and opening, uh, but to get it just right, you kind of have to play that game. So let's uh, double click that ACCDE file again. So we're good to go. It's opening on the main form. No navigation pane to open. No other tabs except the home tab. And you've now got this in an ACCDE file where your VBA code is protected and none of the forms can be modified. So there you have it. There is your final front end of your database file. If you go to add new, that's fully functional. You go to view all, close, and now you can exit the app. Yes, we're sure. And we're good to go. So there you go. Congratulations. You've made it to the to the uh, final stretch. You've made it to the final step and you should have a full-fledged uh, CRUD app or CRUD style app in Microsoft Access. It's been fun doing this. If you're just jumping in again, please uh, feel free to go back to the other videos and uh, see what we've been doing and build this thing from the ground up. I go step by step and we go from beginning to finish. 
And the uh, link to the playlist is in the description below. Thank you guys. I've had a good time doing this. Please uh, like and subscribe and visit me over at theaccidentalexcellus.com. Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcellus.com. Thank mm -hmm. you.